everybody. Welcome back to another One Piece Burning Blood video. My name is Silva Koji, or Silva Kiji, and welcome to the Zone Game and Go. Now, this is, uh, it's been a while since we actually did a One Piece Burning Blood video. Um, mainly because I've been playing a lot of casuals, I just haven't been recording. So, this is kind of a comeback to that. This is a team building video. So, I'm going to do a couple of these, basically, which is going to create a team out of a suggested character or support character, and basically see what we can do. Um, this is for the upcoming tournament coming out in the uh, end of January and the beginning of February. Uh, we do not have a name for the tournament yet. I do know it's just the anniversary, so there's going to be a whole different concept, a whole different format. A lot of different players are going to pop up, and it's going to be really fun. There's going to be a lot of different prize money as well as to be exchanged there. Now, um, this video, or this team video, we're going to be talking about the Four Priests. Now, the Four Priests has been a debatable support among, you know, players, multiple occasions. And um, I made a support guide video of the Four Priests. I just never actually made a team building, team building video of the Four Priests until now, which I'm going to do so at the very moment. So this team is basically going to be called the Four Priests. Why? Because I'm not really creative in terms of team names, and um, I really just don't care. <laughs> so <laughs> we are going to be calling it the Four Priests. So what this team that we're building on for the Four Priests, first talk about the Four Priests. The Four Priests' ability it reduces the support characters' cooldowns but prevents these abilities. So basically what we're going to do is that we're going to build a team that actually kind of, you know, piggybacks off the Four Priests. Um, in terms of what they can actually do. Of course, we're, we're building a team around a support. So, hopefully, you know, this will make sense to you guys. I already have the team built already. So, I'm going to kind of go down, like, the line of, like, what we need and why we need it and everything like that. This is, like, a new thing. So, it may be some hiccups in there. Um, but hopefully, we can all move past it. So, first thing we want to do is we want to talk about the point character in the concept of the four priest team for the four priest team we want to have some sort of uh, support that does have a cooldown um, you know um, supports usually have a 30 to 60 second cooldown and so we want that we want we want a support that can actually have a big cooldown and reduce it in half or something like no one reduced it in half i believe he re they reduce a 30 second cooldown to 10 and they reduce a 60 second cooldown to 20 if I'm not mistaken in my support guy video. If I am wrong, just look at it. I think I put the correct one on there. So what we want to pull out here is we want to debate on a couple of other supports like Wifer, Dragon, you know, go kind of go, go all around the, around the world in terms of, um, you know, those characters. I think I should talk about the characters first. You know, let's talk about the characters first. Okay. So the first character that we want to put on this team is Perona. The reason for this is because we want as much chaos as possible. The Four Priest team is a very chaotic team. Um, after I created it, I just realized that this this is sort of a team that would just make that would actually make your opponent angry, and that is what we want. Okay, Perona provides that little bit of chaos that we also deserve. Uh, basically, because of all of her ghosts and draining your opponent's ability gauge and draining the um, what's the other gauge called burning gauge you basically are putting your opponent in that really tight spot throughout the entire game now the, the four priests is going to be a slow team i forgot to mention that this is a slow team which means that we're not going to be doing a lot of shit at the beginning we're going to be kind of move we're kind of we're going to be going for the mid we're aiming for the mid game meaning if you if you get steamrolled the very beginning it's going to be really hard to come back just going to be honest with you on this okay second up we want blackbeard as the mid guard here. So the point we got Perona, as the mid guard we have Blackbeard. Now if you're wondering why the hell we got Blackbeard and we can't actually use ability, well Blackbeard still has plenty of darkness moves and he's also going to be the answer for Loki against characters as real death for characters. You know, so Perona and Blackbeard kind of cover that base. You know, and if it wasn't enough, we're going to make the third or the anchor sort of character, Usopp. Now, technically speaking, Usopp is not going to be our actual anchor. There's a reason for Usopp being on this team, and we're kind of going to get to that. Well, that. So, Usopp, we know, delivers traps. The traps last for a pretty decent long time. You know, you get stunned in a trap, you can pretty much do anything you want. That's what Blackbeard is for. Blackbeard is to apply that chop, apply that ultimate damage. But we, what we're really looking for here for this team is the ultimate damage. 
So let's go ahead and finish the line of support and then we can kind of, you know, talk about the overview here. So um, the next support on this list we want is Dragon. We want Dragon support so we can get the extra burning gauge um, over and over again. This is why the team is a slow starter, or one of the main reasons. And because it is a slow starter and we might get hit a whole bunch and on top of that, going up against teams that are like one hit able, uh, we want to put Cami on here just to give us that plus four so we have that survivability. So, Monkey D Dragon and Kami both basically play to the four priests' ability by reducing support characters' cooldowns and making it so Dragon support is actually reduced from 60 to 20 seconds. And because we have no ability at all whatsoever, Kami always is going to give us that plus four defensive buff. Now, this is a specialized team here, so this is not something just for you to just like do and hope and just like you know n think it's going to do 100% good. You have to actually play with it a little bit. So let's kind of discuss the reason for why I picked these six characters here in that weird order that I gave you. Okay, so the whole concept of this team is to lower your opponent's HP evenly and continuously go into your ultimate. Uh, one of the main topics here is to not really use your unity chains all that much. Despite having access to dragon, you want to conserve your unity, um, keep your... Um, your burning gauge and Kami also helps with another thing, preventing you from pressing the button to go for unity assists. And I say that because you need your burning gauge. And the reason for that is because when Usopp hits somebody with that stun with his trap, then Blackbeard can be right behind him with an awakening and an ultimate, which will evenly disperse damage between your uh, your opponent's team. And what this is going to create is it's going to create chaos. If your opponent is running down for a character, which I'm pretty sure they're most likely going to do. Most people run at least one Delphi character on their team, then they're going to be stuck in a um, a loop of desperation of trying to get out of there. Because for 10 seconds, they're not really going to be any, doing anything with that team, and you're being aggressive. You have Perona, you can get up close and personal with the Ghost, and you're continuously, you know, draining your opponent's ability. They're affected by Blackbeard. You have the Traps to Usopp. What you're going to be doing with this team is you're going to be constantly moving over and over again. You're not going to let your opponent think that they have the advantage just because they have a low based character. They switch out wrong, they got Blackbeard in their face. They switch out right, they got Perona doing um, doing the Hollow Ghost. Now, with Kami, with this plus four, it helps tremendously for Perona because Perona as a point character is known for getting destroyed at the very beginning. And despite Usopp being an anchor type character, we don't really want to see Usopp pop out all that much. So that's why I kind of put him in the far back on his team listing. Now, if you're fighting a character like Kuma or Arcanine at the very beginning, and you get hit with that, that switch move, or Blackbeard, get hit with a switch move, then Blackbeard is going to be coming in for them. Um, one of the things you really want to keep in consideration when playing as a team is that you want Blackbeard to be alive throughout the entire game. You want him to be alive from start to finish. It's kind of okay if Usopp is defeated, even though it kind of defeats the, that main purpose there, but we really don't want Perona because Perona gives you a safe switch in for all your characters. You know, uh, Usopp doesn't really come in um, in a very healthy way, and neither does Blackbeard, aside from using his um, jumping attack. His jumping unique is very um, fragile in terms of dealing with other characters, specifically Whitebeard, Tessero, and Caesar Clown, if they actually catch him on incoming. Um, but Perona, because of her hollow ghost, she's able to kind of push your opponent away and basically drain your ability. Once she drains your ability, your opponent's like primal instinct will be to run away run away they got now you got Usopp out Usopp setting up traps doing projectiles even if you don't get the awakening or ultimate stuff going on at least you can do with Perona is chip them to death but you want Blackbeard to be alive here um, for Dragon here Dragon is not one of those irreplaceable ones he's the he's one of the I think he's the only one besides no that's not true well Dragon um, basically is not replaceable for this team but um Dragon is gonna is the reason that this team is a slow starter, uh, because it doesn't really get into the groove really until you kind of hit the the middle or end when you start damaging enough, and that's basically where you being antagonistic actually comes in. You just being aggressive and tricky and making your opponent make that decision. Because what you want to do is that you want to make sure your opponent has as little resources as possible at all times. You don't ever want your opponent to be in the situation where I'm good. No, you don't want that to ever happen. You want them to always be on their toes, and that's where these three trick characters come in. Substitutions. Um, so there are some substitutions you can make for this team to be more aggressive. If you want to go ahead and go for more power and more immediate ultimate, 
you could actually switch out Perona with Frankie. So that's the switch out that is possible there. You won't have an, a very, you won't have that more passive and more slow kept uh, game with, uh, if you had if you were Perona, but you will have um, a lot of power in your step. You'll be a little bit slower. You won't have safe incomings anymore uh, because she's out of there. But you will have him, so you will have access to um, big damage to actually get into Dragon as well as Unity. But then again, like I said, you don't want to use your Unity uh, uh, chain that much. You want to get the even amount. You want to start the steamroll late. You don't want to start it early because you're going to exhaust all your resources off the bat. Okay, so um, another substitution here you can go for is on this, is actually from Perona again, is Bartho. Now, the reason for Bartho's substitution and how it actually works for Perona is that it's still going to be the slowness that Perona actually has, but this one is just being more antagonistic. You're being more annoying because Barrier does give you a safe switch in, um, allowing Usopp to come in and set up traps. It does give Blackbeard the opportunity to go a black hole and set up his, um, you know, it's kind of his projectile thing and then you have access um, if your opponent is running a straw hat pirate ace um, you have access to Bartho's chance to um, a higher possibility I mean to actually get uh, burning gauge which is in which is gonna be huge because if you do actually you know roll dice get it correctly you can actually start the steam roll a lot faster than if you have Perona and Frankie so your basically your momentum will actually be at the very beginning rather than the end now at the very beginning though it's a little bit difficult to start this up because your opponent will be in your face so that's where you know you being a I almost said something else you being a douche actually comes to the mind so you want to keep your opponent back a lot now, um, another thing here, I did say that Dragon was irreplaceable, but if you are running Bartho, because he does have the chance to actually uh, get to Burning Gauge, which is easier to do if your opponent is from a Stride Pirate, so make take consideration, um, you actually won't have to get Dragon, and instead, you can go for Leo to actually um, go all the way back instead. And because Leo has four procs here, he has a six second cooldown with the... Um, you know, the four priests, that will be 20 seconds, and it will allow you to actually, you know, continuously doing that and getting your burning gauge of Bartho. So you can actually start it even faster and even easier if you decide to switch out Dragon and go to Leo. Okay, so if you want a more aggressive playstyle instead of Cami, you can actually switch Cami out with Margaret. Oh, I, that's. How you say that name, which will give you that plus two. Um, this will allow you to actually get to that dragon support faster, but it is sacrificing your protection. So those are like the substitutions basically for that team. I'm only going to be showing you the base team right now for a overview of the actual gameplay. So let's go ahead and go down Sunny. So for um, map picks, this team doesn't really need any particular map picks. I mean, besides Verona and Usopp, um, I think I probably prefer uh, Thousand Sunny or the Coliseum. Um, not dress Rosa, because Blackbeard is going to be hell. It's not going to work for him, anyway. And remember that you don't have your ability, so Usopp doesn't have the ability to run away. That is where uh, Perona's Jumping Unique will come in to actually protect Usopp. So you want to actually put that fear into your opponent, right? You want to actually let them know that you're going to do this at any point of time. That's kind of like one of the main things here is that you got to put that fear in your opponent when you're playing this team. You see, you got to keep on being like a little bit aggressive here. And I just love that. I love that move here. I love the fact that Usopp can do this through this slam. I messed it up. I just love that. Like, it's just a start off with Rona. You know, just do two. It doesn't matter to recover. Keep it up. You know, set up traps. Even if you're going to switch out Usopp, like, right off the bat. Just just drop the trap down, drop the trap down and just switch out immediately. You want to keep your momentum going. If you, The moment that you freeze is your, your, your moment your opponent will get their resources back. Now, remember, Perona's um, Special Hollow works for characters that are not Devil Fruit. And if you're dealing with Cockroach Hockey, hockey based characters, then of course you can always bring in Blackbeard to kind of even the score there. Because Blackbeard does an amazing job in actually dealing with Cockroach Hockey based characters because they really just they don't have any, you know, answer for that. That's just, that's just insane. Just love it. Just keep it up. That's the whole thing. Keeping up the aggressiveness, 
um, going in with your guard break. Now, for combo purposes, stuff like that, um, I will say that you probably want to experiment a little with the team. I haven't really experimented a lot with the combo game here. And, I mean, there, there is a, there's, there's a little plenty of stuff you can actually perform on this team. There's stuff that you can actually perform here. But you just got to actually work it out yourself. Also, another thing I want to mention about Perona being the point, um, at the very beginning, because this is where you're going to have a good opportunity for, is that when you're loading up the opponent's burning gauge, you want to purposely, you know, put in one of those special halls at the beginning. You know, it really doesn't kind of, it doesn't really matter at the very, very beginning, because you want them to get burning gauge because you want this to happen. Now, when this happens, you get a you get a free switch in. You can't hit them while you're actually in that state, but you get a free switch in with Usopp, Blackbeard, set up something, because just doing Dark Vortex is enough, just doing Black Hole is enough to actually just scare your opponent and hopefully they make the bad decisions. So this is basically kind of like the team concept, guys. Perona as the point, Blackbeard as the mid guard, and Usopp as the anchor. You just don't want to really lose them. That's pretty much it. Like, I, I really have no other thing to show you guys besides the, um, besides the main concept here, which... This is the main concept. That is not the right character. Oh my goodness. Still cool though. I can still do this. I mean, never mind. I guess I cannot do that. So the main concept is you want to use your trap here. You want to switch into Blackbeard. And you want to go to this Awakening. While doing that, you're going to damage every single person in this team. Now, if you're going with the plus two, this is going to be super good. But if you're going with the Kami support, it's okay. You can't really do anything after that. But the, the good part about this is that it keeps your opponent's characters off the field. And this is like, again, opportunity to just be completely aggressive. You want that wrong character to be switched in on your opponent from using that, um, you know, uh, <laughs> ultimate. And you want them to keep, you know, messing with the rotation. Because it's a mental game, you know? You're playing strategic characters, you, your opponent doesn't know what to do when, when he's playing the situation. They're like, okay, this guy has no Odell Fruit ability, um, this guy has low ability, if I switch into somebody else, he can attack me. Oh, I can't switch out, I'm blocked from switching out. And then the moment that they get their characters back, well, guess what? You're doing it all back over again, because just just the amount of momentum that you are getting in this matchup. And, you know, the closer they are to death, um, that's when um, Dragon starts being like super good. You don't want really want Dragon to proc on one character, honestly, because then it kind of messes up your your entire vibe for this team. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, guys. Now, oh yeah, weaknesses. Weaknesses for this team. Uh, Luffy 3K. <laughs> that's that's um that's the big one. Luffy 3K. Because uh, of all the stuff he can do, he can pretty much like. He, he'll be pretty difficult for Perona to fight, um, honestly. Usopp will probably handle him with a... What's what called? With Chomping Grass. He can probably do that. He'll just have to actually evade him on good calls. Um, Blackbeard will probably get destroyed by Luffy 3K, so I think the only answer for Luffy 3K with this team will be probably Usopp. Unless you plan on being difficult and just ulting him or something like that. Um, another thing, another uh, weakness that you're going to have to deal with, um, and it's definitely going to be a common one, um, is when you're actually fighting against Whitebeard. Um, it's not going to be super difficult, um, but you're going to have to look out for him because he's going to be used a lot in the, in the tournaments and also in competitive games. And so um, Usopp does a really good job. Oops, sorry. Usopp does a good job against Whitebeard. Um, Perona kind of does an okay job. Blackbeard is a little bit on the you know short side in terms of actually hitting Whitebeard. And so it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of character dependence how you're doing. A lot of, a lot of switch outs can actually be achieved to actually beat your weak matchups. Um, but on most occasions, you're probably going to use Usopp to actually kind of beat every bad match you have. And, you know, Usopp's bad matchups, you know, you probably have to go with Blackbeard on those occasions. The team, the, the team's main weakness is that it is a slow start. Um, so at the very beginning, unless you plan on making those substitutions, you ain't going to be doing nothing for the first beginning. You're just going to be slowly whittling your opponent down with zoning. And as that time passes by and your opponent realizes, like, oh, shit, Blackbeard is going to do his thing and I'm going to get destroyed. Once they hit 30%, that's your chance. It's over. There's no such thing as anything. You're good. As long as Blackbeard is left alive at the very end of the game, um, even if uh, Usopp and Perona are dead, I think I said, didn't say this at the beginning, it's okay. As long as you have your Waken, as long as you have your Dragon, you're good. You have this possibility to still win this game. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any more suggestions for team videos you would like to see, please let me know in Discord or in the description below. Not description. Comments below. <laughs> and in the meantime, enjoy playing One Piece Burning Blood.